Hi, this is Hussain from Informatica GCS and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a three-level dependent lookup in MDM uh, NTT360. The agenda for today's video is as follows. Uh, first, we are going to discuss the high-level overview for a three-level dependent lookup. Then we'll go through the setup required in the Hub Console followed by the provisioning tool setup. Finally, we'll look at how the end result will look like in the MDM NTT360. The example in this setup is a city which is dependent on a state, which is in turn dependent on a country. Also, these three fields will be looked up by the address base object. So let us now look at the hub console configuration. So first we need to create uh, three lookup tables, uh, named the LKP city, state and country, with their respective name and code columns. So here are the three um, lookup uh, tables uh, which are having their uh, city code and city name and respectively it will have the country name and code and city state name and code also making sure that their uh, lookup indicator is enabled right here we have to create a relationship uh, from the state to country and city to state so coming to city in the relationships, I should have a relationship which is uh, pointing to state. I'm um, using the state code as the foreign key. And um, coming to the state, I should be having a relationship which is pointing to the country using the country code. Once I'm done with that, I'll create relationships uh, from address table, which is my base object table, to the city, state and country lookup tables. So coming to the relationships of the address base object, uh, I have the state code, country, and city. So these are the three lookup uh, relationships that, I have, that I'm having. I have to make sure that the lookup uh, display name for all the lookup indicator, uh, for all the lookup uh, relationships uh, to the respective name columns. So I'll come here and I'll make sure that the lookup display name is set up to the proper name column. So the city name here, the state name here and the address name, uh, country name here. So that's it for the uh, hub console configuration. Now we'll go into the provisioning tool configuration. Uh, first, uh, I need to create three reference entities in the provisioning tool for city, state and country respectively. In the country reference entity, I'm going to add a state as a one to many child. And under this uh, state child, I'm going to create a city uh, one to many child. So let's look at that. Here are my three uh, reference entities, city, country, and state. Now under country, I'm having under the one-to-many the state, and under the one-to-many of state, I'm having the city. Um, and yeah, uh, we need to add the proper fields for all the entities as well as their children. So I have to add the fields which is there in the tree of country, that is the children's the children and uh, in the reference entities I have to add the proper fields as well. So now uh, I'll go to the lookup field of the address business entity and I'll add the state country and uh, lookup uh, uh, and uh, city lookup fields. So under the business entity I'll come to address under lookup fields I'm going to add state uh, country state and city. Once I'm done with that uh, the important thing is that I have to set the depends on column, which will basically helps us to you know configure the dependent lookup. So the state is going to be depending on the country and the city is going to be depending on the state. And obviously the city's depends on column will be blank. So let's look at that. So like I said, the country is going to be blank. City is going to be depending on country and the state is depending on the city. Also, I'm going to make sure that the lookup display field is left blank for all the three lookup columns. This I'm making sure because I've already set the lookup display uh, name inside the hub console itself. Once I'm done with this uh, thing, I can you know uh, add the add these BE fields along with the lookup columns in the address uh, BE view uh, in the address BE view. So I'll come to business entity views and in the address view, I'm going to add so address line one and line two are the uh, address business entity columns. Along with that, I'm adding the three uh, lookup columns. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to create all the required transformations. That is the BE to view transformation, the view to BE transformation, and the BE to BE transformation. 
And in my case, I'm having all of them as direct transformations. So that's pretty straightforward. So this is all that is required for the setup of the three level uh, dependent lookup. So let's look at how it looks uh, after we're done with the setup. So now uh, in my case, I'm having only a single business entity and that's what I'm gonna be looking at in the entity 360. So this is what the entity 360 looks like. I'll just go for a new uh, entity and I'll select address. That is the only option I'm having. So coming here, I'll just uh, give some address line one columns and uh, now coming to the country, state and city, my dependent lookup columns. Now, in my setup, I do not have any data related to Canada, suppose, as a country. So in my setup, I'm, the Canada doesn't have a city or a, a state. So if you see, I'll not be getting any uh, further lookups for this country. But now coming to uh, US of A, I see that I'm having some three states. But again, I've not, uh, you know, uh, configured any cities for any of these three states. So I shouldn't be able to see that like so. But uh, now coming to India, I'm having, uh, you know, um, four states and let's uh, go for Andhra Pradesh. And under Andhra Pradesh, I'm having a couple of cities that is Vijayawada and Vishakhapatnam. And uh, here under Karnataka also, I'm having a couple of cities here. So I'll just select Bangalore and I can go for save. And that's how we see that, uh, you know, the state is uh, dependent on the country and based on whatever state I choose, if a city exists, I get them as the drop down. So that is the end of this video demonstration of configuring the three level dependent lookup. Um, you can provide us your feedback on these links on Twitter and or you can email it to us. Uh, thank you.